welcome back to Cardinals Franchise Mode Part 7 as Mariano Rivera is coming in to put out the 6 out safe and you will see that in this episode. But if you can, if you can't, then we might just go to extras here. But I believe Mariano can do it. He retired at the end of this season. I'm playing right now, 2013. And make sure to go check out my uh, what I expect out of uh, MLB 14 to show uh, video. And he hit this one in the deep center, and he will not deep center but shallow. But our center fielder will make the catch. And there is our first out here in the bottom of this as Ryan Braun stands up the plate. He has not done much this season. One home run. And eight RBIs. He has not done much. And he, and he hit this one deep right field. Can the right fielder? He won't. And it is out of here. A Braun bomb. Look at that bell ringing. As Braun hits himself a second of the season. As Jason Hayward steps up to the plate. As the next pitch comes in. And it hits it very deep. But it will be catchable. As Jason Hayward hits that right in the Eric Young Jr. as that was a huge bomb by Brian Braun. As now Adam LaRoche stands up. He's had himself pretty good here so far. As Marion is ready to take him on. As there's a ball outside or inside. As the score is 11 at 10. As this has been a back and forth game all game long. As you did, if you saw the first inning with Tim Hudson. There was only four more runs scored in this game besides that first game with six runs let up. As that was hit and no center, but that will be caught by Eric Young Jr. As we are going to the top of the night as Nate Jones is coming in. As we're going to make sure they can't score. As Tom Georgeson, Georgeson I'm still trying to get used to my lineup. And until the pitch comes in as he swings and he misses. But now... We are in the top of the ninth with a one run lead. You don't know, they could come back to so the pitch. Comes in as he swings and misses on a slider. It's just the lightning outside. As the 0 2 pitch comes in, I was really stupid on this. I don't know what I was doing, but I went for the bunt here. And yeah, I was out, of course. But I wasn't that uh, smart to really like. Like, I was a little stupid there because it could have gone foul. But this next step at all, uh, I ended up. Substituting Mariano Rivera, which I really should have done. Which yeah, I I did with Zach Greinke too, which I didn't know what I was doing. Um, so he's a good batter and everything. I think he won the Silver Slugger or whatever award, which is really stupid. As I didn't know there was a Silver Slugger pitcher thing, but he was a good batter. And I tap out, and I don't know what I was doing with this thing, but I was very stupid. I mean, Eric Young Jr. right here, I'm going to bunt every time, and just every pitch I take, he just, and that, he hits him, and then so uh, there Jeter bops up to the plate, and this, he was clutching the last at that, could he clutch this at that? It's looking in. And he didn't clutch again, as that runner is, I see what I mean, I was really stupid, as they had that runner go in the third, but I was smart too. I he he was safe, so you know I was smartness and I was also really dumb. I kind of took that chance. As now I know what I'm talking about. Paul Canico. It says career hit 3,320. Now ninth all time. Derek Jeter. So the next pitch is grounded by Paul Canico and he won't get thrown out by Ricky Wee. As we go to the bottom of the ninth. We might be going extra innings here, but here comes Zach Rinky out of the bullpen. As no, I would not keep him in. I would keep him out at with uh, Luis Avila, and and I would eventually. So kind of spoiling up for you, uh, Zach Rinky has to deal with one batter at least. As uh, I forgot about that, but um, no, he ends up having to deal with this this guy and uh. It was a pretty good p pitching at bat for uh, Zach Rinke. Uh He got the first ball and he got another ball and then, well, I mean, this was a good little pitch thing right here. He got him out, but, you know, it took a while. But Zach Rinke was our starter, so I kind of wasted him right here. 
So, you know, I, we, I got them out, but I didn't. This is going to take a while. I want to kind of zip past this part and uh, kind of like my past videos. I wasn't doing this, but I've already, I already did the game. Um, I'm not going to spoil it, but I, I don't want to spoil it for you guys. So I just shut up. So uh, now we bring in Alice Alia, as now there's only one. He can come in for a two-out save now. I don't know if he has any saves. Uh, I might have to check after this game. Oh, so here comes that runner, and it will be caught, as that means that there's one out left, and that is Trevor Fluffy. If he can go deep in this at-bat, then he ties the game. So the pitch by Alia, but he will hit this one off foul. As it's an 0 1 count, 2 out, 5 was a nice the pitch. He will hit this one off foul. But now that gets Alia any pitch he wants, anywhere he wants, he can pitch it and strike him out in anywhere. Not anywhere, but he can do it in this at bat. Will he? And he hits this one off foul. As they're still on a one and two count, as the next pitch comes in, he hits this one off. And uh, how you guys are wondering how this is? I'm seeing this, not playing this. As he will ground this out, and he will ground out this person. And the game is over. As he dies there, but the Cardinals end up winning 11 to 10, as the Cardinals manager and hitting coach and pitching coach all hug each other. And yeah, yeah. But like you can record this on here. As you can see right oh there. Um I actually did this game an hour ago. This was just a video I recorded. I'm kinda going over this stuff. So right now you guys are just kinda looking at a video besides me talking over it. So uh that was just a game. So uh I'll just kinda fix this up real quick. So, hello, welcome back. Uh, I mean, not on that, but that was just kind of a review on my video right there. As uh, now, I told you, I promised you in our first video that we would check over the uh, our lineup. So we'll go check out the free agents, because then there's because there's Jason Giambi. I think we want to sign him, but we can't. Our roster. Is currently full. I don't actually have a color. Okay, so uh, like I promised, our lineup. Um, if I can find it. Okay, there it is. So our first lineup. Oh, she's got our lineup right here. We got Dave Ortiz and our versus RHP and DH. On this Paul Canerica. That's our lineup. That's a pretty good lineup. We win most of our games with that lineup. And then we have versus LHP and DH. There's the Ortiz at DH. Versus LHP, no DH. And uh, of course, uh, the Ortiz ain't on this because he's the first base man. He's the only DH. So then our verse, we gotta get that. And we go versus RHP, DH, and he's on there. And that's basically our lineups. Um, I got this, but, uh, um, I think I will start, uh, we're going to simulate past that Cincinnati game. Um, I saved, but it, the save didn't go right, so it didn't fix up. So, we will take on the Brewers after I'm done simulating all this stuff. So, we're on a pretty good winning streak right now. We're on a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, we were so close to getting an 8-game winning streak. Now, we're kind of on a one game, no. Once I start counting the wins, we end up losing. 
So, next game is going to be Hisashi Iwakuma against Clayton Richard and Milwaukee. And that will be a tough game as we go check out our stats. So, we are overall name. We are 24th overall today, 30th overall, as we're 5th in batting, 30th in pitching, 25th in defense, as we are going to try and make a trade here. Before this video is over, I'm going to make a trade, and we'll see what it is. We'll go to their starting pitchers, and, uh, as Zach Grinke is with them, as we got Miguel Cabrera. As you can see right there, we got Miguel Cabrera as we uh, lost our starting pitcher staff. So we're gonna we're gonna get past Blue Jays because I know they're not gonna uh, accept it. As we wanna go for this uh I guess we'll go for Justin Masterson. No? Mm, we'll just Tim Stalker and we'll trade him. We gotta sweeten the deal a little bit. Uh, we'll give him better interested in left fielder, shortstop, or catcher. So we'll look at the shortstop. We're going to go left field. We can kind of fix up Don Kelly in the next video. But, uh, no. We go back. Okay, go back there. We're going to go Matt Latos, and we'll trade you Derek Jeter because we can uh, do something with that. The White Sox are considering our trade, and we'll fix, I'll be, be right back because, um, I'll be back in a minute, but it won't be that long, but our, our record after one month is 14 and 14, so uh, we're going to take on the Brewers, it's Sasha Iwakuma, I guess, and Clayton Richard. Uh, as I will see you guys next time, and let's hope that trade works because we really need some help on pitching. But as always, I will see you guys next time.